Okay, this is a stupid idea, but I've heard that Evangelion is very popular with the recent Netflix readaptation or re-release and the dub and all the controversy there. So, because I'm an anime YouTuber who likes big numbers, let's talk about Evangelion. And because I am a weird person, let's also talk about the anime Ori Twin Tales ni Narimasu and why I truly believe that Ori Twin Tales is greater than Evangelion. But do you think I'm joking? Maybe I am joking. Let's get into it. First of all, one of the big complaints about Evangelion is how it's very slow to show what the story is about. Yes, you have all the psychological trauma and the whole mess of a world and all that with Shinji. And that's very interesting. Don't get me wrong. But then you look at Twin Tales and it's very clear what the show is from the beginning. If you go into Evangelion you are expecting a mech anime, probably, if you don't know much about it. Not a psychological analysis that doesn't really make much sense at times. Conversely, with Twin Tales, from the very first minute, you know that this is going to be a stupid, fun show. Another thing that I feel that Twin Tales does right is how it doesn't rely on outside sources to make sense of what it is. Evangelion is a very deep and complicated show, but I feel it's too complicated. I do not feel that I should need to go read the Wikipedia article after each episode to understand what it is that I just watched. Well, Twin Tales, it was quite obvious what I was watching. Granted, it didn't always make sense, but that was why it was so good. I understood what I was seeing. And for a finale, this is where I feel that Twin Tales really does nail it. Because you have the whole character arc bringing up to the final battle with Soji and the stuff I don't want to spoil happening to him, and then he makes the decision to fight to embrace his love of Twin Tales, because of course he does, with one of the most exciting battles of the entire series with some great insert songs. Well, Ava, well, the animation budget seemed to run out or something went wrong because they had, well, that last episode. Come on, you can't tell me that Evangelion is a masterpiece when they completely fall on their faces for that final episode. And yes, you have the end of Evangelion, but I'm not counting that because that would require too much thought, and that is why I'm just covering the series. Although it was the end of Evangelion on Netflix, maybe I should count that, but I'm not going to. And I also want to talk about the thematic death, because some would say that Evangelion is far greater here. But I don't know if that's true. And I don't know if it is true when it matters. Because if you look at Twin Tales, you will see there's a lot of thematic depth to it. You have Soji trying to grow up, following his passion, his love of Twin Tales. And you have the world basically mocking him for it. But he's trying to fight through this anyway. Something that's very relatable to a lot of people in the world. You also have his sort of romantic awakening after the kiss with Gar Dark Grasper. And him trying to figure out what is he going to do with his life now. Is he going to pursue girls? Is he going to pursue Twin Twin Tails. Can he do both? Does that even make sense? Has he forsaken Twin Tails when he's thinking about the kiss so much? Yeah, Shinji is a messed up character. In more ways than one. But I don't feel that his character arc was as compelling as Soji's here. Soji is someone who wants to follow his passion. He's confused and he wants to protect what he truly loves. So yeah, Ava is great and all. But is it Twin Tails? I don't think so. Thank you for watching. Trying to take this video too seriously as it was completely improv off the top of my head and have a good night.